in this lecture we will go through different document similarity measures like uh, precision recall and f measure dice coefficient jacquard coefficient cosine similarity asymmetric similarity euclidean distance and manhattan block distance these are the general matching based similarity this is also matching based similarity but of different nature and these are the distance based similarities similarity measures actually similarity measure is a function which computes the degree of similarity between pair of text objects similarity measures are very important for text mining we can summarize the major use of similarity measure as there are two major use first uh, maybe the similarity between two documents or document versus query terms and second is the document ranking the similarity measure can be used to calculate the similarity between two documents two queries or document and one query we can use the similarity measure to categorize the documents generally some similarity measures are used in clustering some similarity measures are used in organizing the documents document ranking similarity measure ca score can be used to rank the documents with respect to any query term basically used with cosine similarity measures and jacquard and dice coefficients also some important points presence of large number of similarity measures actually as i discussed earlier there exists a lot of similarity measure or similarity measures based technique but uh, none of them are the best according to the situation we can select any of them for optimal performance selection of similarity measures generally selection of similarity measures based upon choice or requirement so that they, we can uh, get optimal performance so let us first start with uh, similarity measures based on matching the best basic part is precision recall and f measure suppose uh, in a document space this is called it this is retrieve and this is relevant for example we will go through this example suppose a sample space s which contains the documents a set of all alphabets contain set of all alphabets a to z now a system extracts uh, these words or these alphabets from this collection of which we consider that these are the relevant or uh, that we actually wanted and these are the set of alphabets that we get 
through some system then precision will be the return relevant documents divided by total number of retrieved documents here we retrieved total 5 letters of which now we'll check whose all five uh, which all five uh, are uh, common so we will find that uh, this three is matching and y and w is doesn't exist in this three so here a intersection b will be three and this will be five here also divided by b which is 10 so this is a recall total relevant documents means uh, recall is equal to return relevant documents divided by total relevant documents this is uh, the set of terms which are common in retrieved and relevant documents this is very simple measure and generally used in uh, some measures like uh, accuracy of key phrase accuracy of clusters how many clusters generally we wanted how many clusters we machine generated and what are their accuracy of the system vision which, which clusters the document we can use the precision recall and f measure as a simple measure and primary measure now f measure is the harmonic mean of precision in recall so it is equal to 2p 2p into r divided by p plus r now the another coefficient is the dice coefficient dice coefficient is actually the harmonic mean of precision and recall so dice coefficient is equal to 1 by p plus 1 by r now for this set of relevant and retrieved it can be calculated like this 2 into relevant 2 into set of documents which are relevant and retrieved both divided by cardinality of relevant documents plus cardinality of retrieved documents actually harmonic mean of n numbers like x1 to xn can be calculated as n divided by 1 plus 1 by x1 plus 1 by x2 plus till 1 by xn is equal to n divided by i is equal to 1 to n 1 divided by xi now some important points the dice value of dice coefficient ranges from 0 to 1 the corresponding difference function is not a proper distance metric and doesn't possess the probability of triangular inequality dice of the this is general demerits of dice coefficient that it doesn't satisfy the concept doesn't satisfy the triangular inequality like uh, this the simplest counter example triangular inequality means uh, sum of uh, two sides will be always greater than third side and so on it doesn't satisfy this property a counter example like suppose we have three sets a b and ab the distance between the first two is being one and the difference between the third and each of the others is being one by one third
now using some constant to explain the concept of dice coefficient the similarity with respect to query term q and document dj can be calculated as we consider query term q as a, a and the document d as b query term q is the retrieve and query term b is a relief end so now the coefficients dice coefficients will be mod of a intersection b divided by alpha into a plus 1 minus alpha into b and it can be given as from k is equal to 1 to n where n is the total number of documents in the collection the query word q exists in the document j divided by alpha into presence of query word q in document idk whole square plus 1 minus alpha into k is equal to 1 to a total number of documents into presence of sorry query term j in document k so here similarity between those documents can be calculated as sum of presence of query term q and j presence of query term q and j sorry product of presence of query term q and j in document k divided by alpha into summation of presence of query term q in document k whole square of this part and uh, same here if alpha is greater than 0 0.5 then it gives some importance to precision if alpha is greater than 0 0.5 then this part will be more important if alpha is less than 0 0.5 then recall will be more important in calculation if you use alpha is equal to 0 0.5 then it will be a simple harmonic mean like this now this is a simple exercise calculate the bigram based similarity between two strings first is night and second is n a c s t by using dice coefficients so it is very simple for example can be written as n i i g gh and st now second n a h n a c s t can be written as bigrams n a a c c h and s t now by using this we can calculate the bigram based model sorry by using these bigrams we can easily calculate dice coefficients we find that only these two bigrams are common in both strings and cardinality of this is 4 and cardinality of this is also 4 so 
it will be like 2 into 1 divided by 4 So the bigram based similarity by using dice coefficient will be 1 by 4 between two strings. Now the another thing is another similarity measure is Jacquard coefficient. The Jacquard coefficient is used to measure the similarity between sets and it can be calculated by dividing the size of intersection by the size of union of the sets. It is very simple. Now the other thing is Jacquard distance. Jacquard distance is uh, just 1 minus Jacquard coefficient. Actually value of Jacquard coefficients ranges from 0 to 1. Jacquard distance measures the dissimilarity between sample sets. It is uh, complementary to Jacquard coefficient and is obtained by subtracting Jacquard coefficient from 1 or equivalently by dividing the difference of the size of union and intersection of the two sets by the size of union. This is simple. Calculating the similarity between query and given documents by using Jacquard coefficients. This is a simple formula. This will clear from this example. For example, this is a given query. It contains 0 T1, means uh, no presence of term T1, 0 T2 and 2 T3, means it contains 2, term, two times T3 and 0 times T1 and 0 times T2. So first in document D3. I will document D1, we will calculate the score of this query with respect to document D1 and then calculate the score of query with respect to document D2. So it is very simple, just check the union. Out of 5 T3, only 2 T3 matches with here from here and uh, from document D2 only one term T3 present compared to two term T3. Now calculating the similarity between query and given document by using Jacquard correlation coefficient. Suppose a given query key Q and uh, document DJ. Then how can we calculate the similarity? Or K is equal to 1 to N. Total number of documents represented by N. We check the document. which contains the query term q and uh, k is equal to 1 to n the square of term again the square of term minus this portion will give like uh, suppose uh, this is a set a Suppose this is a set A, this is set B, then 
this part sorry this part will represents only this portion and this portion not counting this part twice means count this part count this part and count this part once same thing is applied here in the form of matching queries and document dj where set of n documents are present cosine similarity cosine similarity is a measure of similarity between two vectors of an inner product space that measures the cosine of angle between them for example the similarity between document d1 which contains term d21 d22 and d2 uh, d2n and uh, document d1 which contains terms d11 d12 and d1n with respect to query term q1 q2 and to qn to qn calculating cosine similarity the cosine similarity between query q and document dj can be calculated at similarity q dj is equal to similarity a and b a is considered as a query term it will be equivalent to root under precision into recall so it is very simple it will be like mod of a intersection b divided by root under cardinality of a into cardinality of b and uh, it is also equivalent to q into dj q dot product dj divided by cardinality of q into cardinality of dj so cardinality of q is equal to from k is equal to 1 to a W K Q whole square and uh, into W K J whole square. calculating cosine similarity for example suppose uh, we have two structures now we have to uh, these are the common bits uh, noted as c then what will be the cosine similarity between fingerprinting data a and b how to calculate the best thing is use uh, root under precision into recall and what will be the and it is equivalent to precision section b mod divided by root under 
mod a into and then it will be 6 divided by root under 30 into 8 equal to this now another thing is asymmetric similarity in traditional similarity measures if a is similar to b then we find that b is also similar to a but uh, some coefficients may have uh, been defined in which uh, this is not true for example here s a equal a not equal to b s a b is not equal to s b a this is called Tversky similarity here it is defined as t and can be given as c divided by alpha a minus c plus beta b minus c plus c where alpha and beta are user defined parameters alpha and beta will be equal to 1 then equation reduces to any motor coefficient and if alpha is equal to beta is equal to 1 1 by 2 then it equation reduces to dice coefficient and if alpha not equal to beta then t becomes asymmetric that is where alpha is equal to 1 beta is equal to 0 and t is equal to c by a the fraction of a which it has in common with b when t is equal to 0, 1.0 indicates that a is a substructure of b at the level of fingerprinting matching and uh, when t is equal to 1.0 t tends to 1.0 indicates that a is almost a substructure of b not complete distance based similarity till now we studied only matching based similarity now we will go through some distance based similarity basically used in document clustering or clustering based algorithms uh, the major thing major uh, schemes are uh, or techniques are like if you lean distance it is tense matrix for geometrical problem it is ordinary distance between two points and can be easily measured with a ruler in two or three dimensional space Euclidean distance is widely used in clustering problem including clustering text. It is also a default distance measure used with k means algorithm. Measuring distance between text documents given two documents DA and DB represented by their term vectors TA and TB respectively. Then the Euclidean distance between two documents can be calculated as mod of WTA minus mod of WTB whole square and uh, root of entire summation where WTA is equal to term frequency inverse document frequency of document term T document A and uh, term set is represented as T1 to TA and where M is the TM sorry because we used as a TM because we used as summation as M actually for calculation of such kind of uh, similarity we represent the document in the form of document vector model where documents is represented as row and terms are represented as columns and so on after that we calculate the term frequency inverse document frequency of every term Now the Euclidean distance will be suppose this term TA occurs in document and again the matching terms
suppose disturb disturb match then we can identify the matching of idf score but here to calculate the euclidean distance between two documents we just calculate the distance between two similar words in the document there may be some matching terms or there may not be some matching term manhattan's blocks distance here distance between query term q and document dj can be calculated as from k is equal to 1 to n wk represents the term and q represents the query j represents the document q represents the query term j represents the documents and k represents the term which is equivalent to query terms and k represents the term which is exist in the document j and from k is equal to 1 to n we calculate the mode of that similarity important points in chase the distance between squares on the chase board looks like uh, for rooks is measured as a manhattan distance kings and queens by chivaisip's distance and bishops use manhattan distance between squares and uh, of squares of same color on the chase board rotate is 45 degrees uh, with its diagonals as a coordinate axis to reach from one square to another only kings require the number of moves equal to the distance of rooks queens and bishops requires one or two moves on the empty board and assuming that move is possible at all in the bishops case thanks